Please what we are talking about on the Amazon today is actually hygiene. Hygiene, personal hygiene, the girl child hygiene, mm. hygiene for women. There is no time limit to start. You can start teaching a child to wash their hands from when they are even babies, yeah. you know? And then they get used to it. It's just something we have not gotten used to. Yeah. I know, but no, 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 it's for, it's for everybody. Mm -hmm. yes. But in this particular instance, I mean, of course, men too, they have their issues. There is strong. Men, they sweat a you lot. Know, man you know, smell, they call man it. Man smell, they call it. But that's just been uh, given a nice name to something unpleasant. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Amazons. There's so much energy yes. here. Amazons of Masambua and Silo Bankole. It's so great to be on the set of Amazons again. Same here. Mm, same Today here. on the Amazons, I'm we. Yeah, I wonder why. So much energy. I wonder why it's energy. energy. I love it. So much it energy and excitement. You. <laughs> you know, it means that we are going to have a great show today. I what we are so. talking about on the Amazon today is actually hygiene. Hygiene, personal hygiene, the girl child hygiene, oh. hygiene for women. A lot of us take things for granted. You know, the biological makeup of the woman is such that there's so many areas that we have to pay attention to when we are cleaning and you know when we are taking care of our personal hygiene those are the things we are going to be talking about today let me ask you a question have you ever entered a room this is for you now silo and omasa you enter a room you know as you open the door you what confronts you is unpleasant you can see it you can feel it or you can smell it. No, you can feel you, it. You can. I said you can feel it. You know, when she said, when she said, Silo, this person is for you, I was like, uh uh, what's that you're talking about? It's <laughs> not about you, believe me, I would have told you. Uh, you, you know, know, that one is what they call a, a God forbid. No, but you know what, Aisha, when you were going on, you know? When you were going on about female hygiene, I was like, I'm going to go up, men hygiene, go. Yeah. I know, but no, 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 it's for, it's for everybody. Mm -hmm. yes. But in this particular instance, I mean, of course, of course, men too, they have their issues. There is strong. Men, they sweat a you lot. Know, man you know, smell, they call man it. Man smell, they call it. But that's just been uh, given a nice name to something unpleasant. You say it's man smell. A rotten man smell. Mom, yeah. But it's actually an odor. <laughs> it's, not, it's not a man smell. You know, so you are confronted with this unpleasant smell. It's thick in the air. It could be the woman's wig. You know, a lot of us these days. I am one of them. I'm guilty of that. But you does know. it smell? Wait, guilty of smelling weak. No, does mine, smell? mine doesn't smell. Okay. So okay. we are going to be, we are going to have experts who will tell us, talk to us about how to take care of the wigs that we wear now, because, you know, unlike Omasa, who, you know, is going natural. All yeah. natural. You know, all this natural. is all mine. <laughs> no, 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 no. Omasa, I am natural too. Uh, we are all natural. You, you, this yeah, one. We are natural. all natural. You want me, to, all natural. You want me to, to lean and then just uh, <laughs> look at this one. Look at this one. This is your head. So, you know, things like that. You want to look beautiful, you also want to smell beautiful. Yeah. You know, you can't be looking beautiful and then have this. Uh, and it's not stand. perfume mode. No, it's Before not. It's terrible when you add the perfume. Mm. You it's worse Another when even you now add, add the perfume. perfume. Exactly. Pe perfume mixed with. With this Sweats. body odor, sweat and unpleasant Be smell. Oh my God. Do you know what I wanted to you just feel like running. Another thing I wanted to mention was there's a notion, well, when I was growing up, there was this notion because I've always been a big person, say, I have fatty pool smell. I have encountered some really slim, smelly yeah. chicks. Yeah. Ooh, I have. But so, but the problem, like you said, when you were growing up, so size did, doesn't really matter. Did, your, I, did, your, did your, your mother, especially, did she tell you to pay special attention to your special Because parts I heard, a, and I was yeah. used to hearing that fat people smell, I made sure that, to me, I knew I was not going to smell. Exactly. No, I that think, yes. <laughs> I think the reason they said that really was because, you know, the, 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 the fat person, uh, they call them, I, I think I'm right, Horrible. you know, they call them endomorphs. Okay. You know, the endomorphs, they have more flesh, you know, because they have more flesh, uh, they fold, and in between the folds... So crevices. You, yeah, right, the crevices. Yeah. You, you know, in between them, attention. you so have the folds to... folds and crevices. They don't pay attention to it, so they don't clean. 
you know, some people who have to lift up really to get to, to certain parts. areas, to certain special parts. Exactly, you know. But um, for the uh, for the girl child, really, you, you teach the girl child how to clean the house, how to cook, you know, how to take care of the home. Do you also teach the, uh, teach the girl child how to take care of her person? How to it's take important. care of her personal yeah. hygiene? It's important. You know, uh, it, it is very, very important. Uh, a lot of us are left to, to learn it all by ourselves. And when you learn things by yourself without the experience, you know, without going through the rudiments, you do not learn properly. You do I, not I learn properly. I doubt you learned by yourself, though. Mm. Because well, back in the day, I know my mother taught me, and I taught my daughters, and I know your mother did too. When you're, especially a girl, when you want to have your shower, they tell you you, you have to bend down. Exactly. Mm. And but, that, that's, that's no secret. But I don't know about parenting mm. these, these days. days when they are hardly ever at home. Uh, me, me, oh, I, so I wasn't teaching. taught because I didn't live with my parents okay. a lot, you know. And I'm sure there are, you know, lots of girls who are in my situation as well. And, you know, if you have to live with, you know, uh, a relative, a cousin, an aunt, I'm not sure an aunt would sit Take you some down aunts, and, some aunts you know, and tell Why you, not, you know, some aunts would. This is what you do. So I, I, so I, 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 I learned on on this on, on by, all by myself. <laughs> yes. So this is what we are talking about today on Amazon. It's actually hygiene talk on the Amazons today. Uh, we'll be back <laughs> after the break. <laughs> What the hair does, yes. even down there. Yes, you have under the hair. Yes, and, uh, yeah, wherever. Yeah. It's the to... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the hair there is supposed to, you know, hold moisture and trap anything that is going to go under the skin. Amazon, welcome back. Uh, today on the program, we are talking about hygiene, personal hygiene, how to keep yourself clean. Both, you know, you spend more time looking tidy outside. What about your inside? That really matters. It matters more than the outside. Uh, we are particularly talking about the girl child on this program today. And um, we we'll have uh, an expert joining us to tell us, you know, those areas where the girl child should really pay attention to. You when, see your master uh, trying to clean. smell my armpit some minutes ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you should ask me what. But it, what, was it smelling was good? It as, Did I pass the test? She Actually, pass. she passed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Please, um, we have a, a certified nurse and a midwife. Abigail Dopesi is joining us on the program. Welcome to the Amazon. Please have a seat. Thank you. Sit down. <laughs> Welcome to Amazon. I'm sure you heard us backstage. We you know we're talking about uh, personal hygiene, the girl child. We, we, you know, we spend so much money putting this wig on our head. Uh, we spend so much money wanting to smell nice, but smelling nice and you know not smelling nice from the inside. You are a midwife, a health expert. Tell us, uh, when a girl child is cleaning, when a girl is cleaning, what areas should she uh, pay attention to and how? Thank you very much. Um, I'm glad to be here. Thank you for having me on. And um, when it comes to personal hygiene, uh, I think for a girl child, from head to toe, is very important from your hair down to your toe. You have your armpits, and that's because, you know, um, there's a lot of sweating, there's a lot of heat, and we move around a lot. So a girl... Well. Do you suggest so, shaving? Yes, for, for of what course. For what age could a um, young lady... Well, um, it depends on the environment. In some environments, shaving is fine. In other places, it's like, I mean, so it depends on where you find yourself. But coming from the health angle, okay. you know that the hair is not just there for being there. It had it has a purpose. purpose. Okay. Really? What is the What's purpose? The purpose? Huh? What the hair does? Yes. Even down there. Yes. You Both have the under hair. there. Yes. And, uh, yeah. Wherever. Yeah. What it's does the hair do? 
Yeah, the hair there is supposed to, you know, hold moisture and trap anything that is going to go under the skin. Okay. okay. So yeah. some, yeah, you, when you shave it off, then you have a lot of sweat going under the crepices, like you mentioned earlier, yes. is there. So, and then with air blowing on the, on the sweat, it gives off this stench. So that's why you need mm. to be able to look after if you have shaved, you every day. then you See, have to clean. Yeah. Was the exactly. You know, something she said now that struck me, mm. you know, that the hair protects, you know, it gives the, you know, it gives the armpit moisture mm. to help trap the it traps bacteria the that would have You energy. know, just like you have in your nostrils. Exactly. You know there's exactly. some yeah. hair of course, the nostrils. in your yes. nostrils. Just like you have in the And we yes. trim them. You, oh, you do? Yes. yes. You no. pluck it. Pluck so there's it. no streamer. Are you serious? Yeah. No. I, I didn't know <laughs> that. Every day. It's no streamer. You have to get into my hole, isn't it? No, and there's even the ear trimmer as well. You can use a nose streamer for ear. You get hair for ear. No, that's my brother. My, my bro it's a man thing, but some people, females, have it as well. And then you go on to under the boobs, you know, for some people who have big boobs, you have... Don't the, look at me, don't look at me, I think you're <laughs> going to You have sweat there, you need to know how to look after that to keep it dry and moisture free. And then you go down to the real area, which is the vagina. And with the vagina, it is very, very important that you care for it properly. And by keeping it clean, dry, moist free, and you don't poke in unnecessarily. How do you clean it? You, that's what, yes, that's what to we want clean to the vagina, we, um, have, we are advocating that you don't have to douche. You don't have to stick your fingers in and clean because it oh. is self-cleaning. All you mm. need to do is use mild soap and water. And then when you go to the um, ladies to urinate, make sure you dab and dry up with tissue. Okay, you and dab, you don't wipe. Well, you well, could you wipe, wipe front, front, front to back. back. Mm -hmm. You can wipe from front to back with tissue. But don't just finish and, you know, put up your underwears and get out. Because that will drip on the discharge that's coming, coming out from the vagina. And then with air mixing, will form, you know, and the odor. odor will start, mm. begin to ooze. I wanted to what? ask, Aisha, I don't know how they, you were taught how to wash. When I was much younger, they would say, stoop down, yeah. stoop down. You wash the front, okay? Mm -hmm. When you got older, you had to put your hand in. Well, mm -hmm. that, that I think that is just um, you, your own decision. No, 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 no. I think I think I that, think that, that what she means is um, when she says poke and probe, it, it means you you know you you are going deeper. Yeah. What you were taught is to to uh, the labia. To, to, no, to that's the outside. To the wash. inside. No, the inside. No, you How don't many taught to wash inside. the inside? I, mean, I don't really taught me, but I discovered that uh, it made you me feel better. To, Yes, okay, that's, yeah, that's, that's, you feel better. That's, that's yes. for you. But she's yes. talking about the ideal now, right? The ideal as is the to just expert. wash Which, the labia, the, labia. The, two, yeah, the labia, the outside. Wow. Don't go in. Because when you go in, yes. you will introduce um, foreign bodies, infections, whatever. Um, change the, the, the constitution of the normal vaginal flora. Is it advisable? Because I know a lot of young girls suffer from thrush. Yes. It's not only in Nigeria, which is why you can buy, you know, the, the cream over the counter without prescription. Why? What causes that? What causes thrush? Is it that because you don't clean well or because you have shaved so much uh, that now foreign bodies have easy access? Or use the dirty or, toilet? Or you the have, toilet. you know, what, what is the cause of thrush? Yeah, that's what we're talking about now, personal hygiene. Like I said before, it starts with hand washing. Because if you touch yourself, you, when you touch the handle and somebody who had thrush has touched the handle and you touch yourself, especially your VJJ, without, <laughs> without like you know, mm. washing your hands first and then you, you have, you know, definitely you've contacted something. There is no time limit to start. You can start teaching a child to wash their hands from when they are even babies, yeah. you know? And then they get used to it. It's just something we have not gotten used to. Oh. But I believe that the as we go on... Helped. The yeah. Ebola scare. The Ebola. As yes, we, it helped. Yes. No, uh, but last but once the Ebola was over, mm. everybody, everybody went back. Well, 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 I, I, I just believe we just keep saying it and then people will get, the culture. Yes, get into okay, the habit. What about and then shaving? the scarcity of water. There's no water everywhere. Mm. Sometimes okay. you get to some places where there's 
there is no water. That's true. But now, it brings me to the next question. Do you know that our our schools are the dirtiest? Yes, yes. Filthy. You know, they have the dirtiest of toilets where yes, there filthy. are any available. That is especially filthy. the public schools. Such that, that you have true. girls Even in the who schools. are um, who are going through their menstrual cycle and do not have the facility to, to even, you know, keep themselves clean, clean. Yeah. whilst even they are in school. Yes. You know, even if they wanted to. Mm. And I, I think uh, the Ministry of Education should start looking into the, uh, the facilities that we have for personal hygiene yes. in schools. It's yes. very sure. important. Very, it very, is really, really yes. very important. Yes. So, uh, Madam Abigail, the, the next question I will be asking is, is it advisable to shave to wax, to trim, how do you groom the, that environment around the... Well, it's, a, it's like I said, it's, a, it's, it's not the best, but it's a personal decision if you want to shave. If you feel more comfortable, then you have to go the whole way to learn how to look after yourself because you have removed a natural um, environment, exactly. you have placed your own new one, so you need to know how to look after it because the whole of the pores in that area are open. The whole of the pores, you've removed the hair. The hair roots are open. So you need to know how to manage, look after, which means you have to be extra clean. Mm -hmm. How about the using of, like, douche? You know, how, how you know, <coughs> because like, like Silo said, sometimes it just makes you feel... So After much the month, my monthly cycle, I uh, just think well, that pushing you know, is right to do that's, it. Right that's thing psychological. Do. You mm. just think you are After your pressure. monthly cycle, the, definitely the, the, the order of your VJJ changes towards the end of your, yeah, cycle, yeah, yeah. your, your period. Yes. Um, I find that that's a personal decision that, you know, douching with plain water and vinegar. Mm. Clean water. But the thing is, clean as an expert, vinegar. she's talking to us from an expert point of view. That's what I'm asking her. That am I doing something the, it's wrong? Self -cleaning. It's self-cleaning. It's self-cleaning. So that douche, the douching doesn't... It's not, it's so not why, necessary. Why was it made? It will, sorry? Why were douches made? Well, somebody had to do so, make some money. They, I exactly. mean, it was okay for them then. But now, we found out that when you douche, you are actually... It's possible. Well, you might escape it, but yes. at another time, you could be taking in an ascending infection. You know, because some people are more okay. susceptible to infections than some other people. Exactly. I know some people that every month they, are, you know, they have a urinary tract yes. infection, while some people never have ever never had in their have. lives. Yes. So, so uh, that's why thing. douching. I would, I would not say yes, no, because you will be, be at risk of having infections or ascending infections even beyond the vagina into other areas, the cervix, okay. the uterus. Mm -hmm. You can go in. You can have a PID. Yeah. You can I also think that yeah. P PID is pervert inflammatory yeah. disease. disease. <laughs> you know, the one that will give you pain in you. your groin and the yes. wow. lower abdomen. abdomen. Yeah. Yes. So, so it's advisable to wash the... Is it VJJ? VJJ. Yes. <laughs> VJJ. It's advisable to wash it with soap and water or just with water? What kind of soap? With what water or very mild soap. So what about all these feminine washes? Uh -huh. She's just, just saying that feminine people business. have to make money. That's what she's saying. So you're saying all these family washes that we have been using, have you not been using them? Is it harmful? Yeah, even, even, even today. Okay, to so be, in rounding up, really, uh -huh. the, she has given us the expert opinion. Do not wash, do not douche, <laughs> do not use uh, uh, medicated soap, soap. Yes. to wash your yeah. BJJ. Use old mild soap <laughs> and water. <laughs> when we were growing up, what we had was, you know, this very thick... Uh, it's not a pampas. It was called pad. You yes. know the one that looks yes. like a lady set. Yes, yeah, yes. yeah, lady you know? set. Yeah, lady yeah. set. You know, but these days we have very nice, nice. ones. Yes. Slim. Yes. They even stick to the pants. They yes. don't shift exactly. like this one. You know, everybody knows about always. Yes. Always yes. is them. Um, is slim. Yeah. Is, you don't. It's not even visible. Mm -hmm. You can wear your pants and, and it's long nothing enough. shows. It's long it enough. It's the front. They have the it's long even one. whichever. They have yeah. The, the yeah. Yeah. It's even long enough yeah. to cover the front, the front and in the case back. it leaks forward or the mm. back. Cases of it, also, it also has wings. Yeah. yeah. Wings yeah. means that it can so that you don't leak. Sit, so that you don't leak. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's also very very absorbent, it isn't is. it? No, no, no. I'm not. It's not that marketing here. It is. It is. De <laughs> depending on what, um, how heavy your flow is, they you have take, different. Yeah, you have different say. ones. And when you're using this one, because they are, um, they are 
film protected. You yes. don't get the stain you will usually yeah, have in yes, those when days. When it shifts. When you can yeah. shift to the front yeah, or to the back <laughs> or to the side. And <laughs> then, you know, it's, it's, it has the lining. And then the most important thing about using these ones is that you need to change as often as you feel uncomfortable. You can't have the um, always on and then you go and we first time, go and we second time, uh -huh. and you still have this. Just keep it from you, morning Yeah, till you can't night. keep it from morning till night, mm -hmm. or else you will be at risk of having yeah, infections too. So you can put it inside. So, 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 so the thing, that the thing inside um, that, no, no, you can come. open it and bring it out. Uh -huh. While you are doing that, I, I'd like to ask <laughs> you, Ashaba, um, what, Sorry, you know, it has this about yes. changing. You have no excuse not to, to because when dispose you use of it, properly. It, you use this thing, Mm -hmm. To wrap it inside. Wrap it, bring inside. Some, bring yes. it out. Bring it out. Yes. <laughs> you use this. Mm -hmm. And that's why I tell you, if you go inside my bag, when they don't send you, because you don't know what can be in there. Yes, a woman's you bag. Don't, you yes. don't look inside because, anyhow. Yes, because when you finish using it, you discard of it. You roll it up you again. You roll it Nicely, up. neatly. Put it and, back in. Okay. And of course, you wash your hands afterwards. Which means you have kept this off. film. You have to keep the film. You have to keep the film. Yeah. You know? It's and so then nice. on your knees. Yes, yes. yes. You know. Thank you so much, Abigail Dopesi. We've enjoyed talking with you. I'm sure Thank our young you. girls are better informed. Uh, girls in the audience, you know how the best way to wash your, you know, BJD, and you know what to do. <laughs> and, then call it. and then the boys to the blend. And they can, can teach you. Can your teach your girlfriends. Yeah. Or you your know, sister. Or your sister. sister. No, you, you can't teach your sister. You, you can't teach your you girlfriend. Can. I mean, you can. We are not court conversation. No. I mean, <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Them? No, no, no. We don't have the time. <laughs> <laughs> we have to ask them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you so much, Abigail Dokwesi. It was thank really you. Know, uh, enlightening speaking with you. We are talking personal hygiene on the Amazons. We will be right back after the break. Sometimes the father in some homes is more hygiene conscious than even the mother. For the female child, there are special areas that the mothers will need to come in and then explain better. Amazons, welcome back. We are still talking personal hygiene on the Amazons. We are, we are learning a lot, even as adults. I mean, you know, we, we are mothers here, but it would be nice to hear from a mother that is not, you know, that is not when us, you know. So we will be inviting Adekemi for Lauren Shaw to come talk to us about, well, you know, how she's teaching her daughter, her daughter. how to be personally clean. Personally. Welcome, Adekemi for Lauren Shaw. You look really nice. Thank you. Thank you. you look really beautiful. Please have a seat. I'm sure. I think I mean, you'll be, I'm sure you've been listening to our, our conversation from behind the uh, from behind the stage. Who should be responsible really to teach you know the girl child, you know personal hygiene? Is it the school or, or the parent? Do you leave it for the school? You know that everything the teachers uh, will take care of it. Thank you very much. I think both parents should be involved in the personal hygiene of their wards. The father and the mother? The father and the mother, yes. Because sometimes when you look at um, these children, you'll see some certain behaviors in them. And you look at yourself and say, you cannot give what you don't have. Yeah. Because if you look at a home, it all depends on the home. Sometimes the father in some homes is more hygiene conscious than even the mother. So in such, in such situation, <laughs> I look at it and say, for both parents to come together and teach their children what and what, the do's and the don'ts that they need to know concerning hygiene is very important. But in quotes, for the female child, there are special areas that the mothers will need to come in and then explain better. It will, that will be an intensive teaching, explanations, and demonstrations. And demonstrations, <laughs> exactly. That's the word. Based on experience. <laughs> based on ex based because on experience. of experience. Because yeah. when it comes to experience, it's what you have experienced that you can pass on to somebody else. So I've looked at it and said, to most youths that have come in contact with, the girls in particular, most especially teenagers, I used to say to them, 
why is it that this thing is going into this direction and you're not doing it right? Nobody talked to me. And I'm shocked. So, and I said, you live under both parents? And she said, yes. So sometimes we give them advice, telling them, this and this are what you should do when it comes to hygiene. Because for hygiene, for both children, not only the, male, uh, the female yeah, child now, even the male. It, for, it should be from head to toe. To toe. We'll bring the audience yeah. in now, because we actually, you know, most of you are still teenagers, I, I believe. And <laughs> those that are not teenagers are in their early, early adolescence. Yes, your question. Please sit down. Thank you very much, Ma, for the enlightenment. Um, I want to ask this question. You advise us to shave our armpit and also the down area. Let me not. <laughs> okay. Okay. By the time we finish, um, probably someone finish a female finish shaving the downside and also the armpit. And at the end of the day, they start developing like rash or bumps. bumps. So, what do you think is the cause? Well, I I said that what I said was that the hair on under your armpit and the one at the VJJ they have A their purpose. purpose. I normally will not shave, but you girls of nowadays you do shave. Beginning. If you thing. shave, then you must use the right material be able to care for it because after you shave, you've opened all the pores of the skin. Mm -hmm. So you need to use um, antiseptic and make sure you keep it dry. The, the main thing is that it has to be dry because if it is not dry, it's easy for infection to go into the skin pores and you have boils, you have rashes, you have all sorts. So the important thing is you use the right, don't use fake blade, cheap blade. And then don't use them, um, when you finish, you need to use antiseptic to clean. And then you keep your armpit and your pubic area dry. Dry. Hmm. That's very important. Can I add one thing though? What, what, I, what I've noticed also, just to add to what uh, Abigail is saying, on the, um, the day you shave, it's advisable not to use like deodorants, yeah. you know, apart from the fact that it might immediately sting you. Sting you. you know, maybe you could just use powder. Mm. To, to keep dry or you don't advise it? Um, well, just what I think is, you know, there are a lot of all these things going around. Me, I'm old school. <laughs> <laughs> just use oh, an antiseptic, so. TCP, <laughs> any of those ones to clean. Mm. So yeah. you remove the germ okay. from the skin. You understand? You have just exposed your skin. The hair you removed had germs in it. Mm. So once you shave, you have removed that one. So what you do is to make sure you clean, clean. the area and keep it dry. If you want to use talcum, if you're sure that that cap talcum is a good one, because yeah. you know even okay. the dusty powder we have now, they, they, yes, they, um, they have, have tetanus in it. Mm. Yeah, you know, so don't okay. bumps. No, no, no. Is it still grown hair? We'll call for a break. We will continue this discussion <laughs> okay. after the break. We are still okay. talking personal hygiene, especially for the girl child today on the Amazons after the break. <laughs> Um, you, what you need to do is put it in water, a bucket of water, and literally immerse your wig into the, um, the bucket and wash in a downward motion. Don't scrunch the hair up or anything. And the okay. same with conditioning. It's pretty straightforward and let it air dry. If we don't wash our bra often, then we, we, we have a problem with that because, as I said before, it's a hot country. You want to be able to wash your bra at least twice a week, mm -hmm. you know, and then also change your bra at least twice a week. Welcome back to the Amazons. Welcome back. Welcome back. Today we are talking personal hygiene on the program. Personal hygiene for the girl child. Personal hygiene for the girl teenager or the young adolescent or even for women. A lot of us these days, I mean, Silo, don't tell me this is your natural hair. Well, I am wearing a wig. I have my natural you, hair you underneath on, this under. one. Why are you not wearing the natural hair? Why is it No, under? wait. Aisha, let me face you. Why is it under? I have encountered smelly natural hair. Mm-hmm. There's somebody in the crowd now that has an afro. I hope my son is not watching this. Oh. My son's afro was smelling. Oh. Yes, until I bought products. I had to invest in, you know, 
teaching him some hygiene for his mm. hair as well. Okay. Same thing as my hair. Comfortable and I'm also natural. Said, natural means oh, yeah. Nice smell. Dreadlocks, Be smelly because, dreadlocks. Yeah, because it actually traps. I'm bring your hair here, Master. Abba, why? <laughs> wow. No, but hair is clean. Why? 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 And, and, it, and, it, and people make that mistake. They think because you have natural Enjoy. hair, you can just let it go. Actually, it's harder and more expensive to maintain. maintain I agree. Because it, 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 it maintains, what's that word again? It holds mm. everything. Moisture, you know, moisture, sweat, 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 it will just trap. Smoke, and you dirt. know, yes. So, you know, you really have to. I know what you mean, though. You see some locked, some locks when ah. you see it. Uh, when you pass you on, it smell. <laughs> yeah. follow but, you. But uh, these days, uh, a, lot of, a lot of ladies, a lot of young women, you know, women, women and men and, and young girls have what you call you extensions. Know, extensions. Either it's fixed or you wear it. I, I am wearing mine. You know, underneath is Didi. Uh, I, I'm not sure what Silu has under her own Didi natural. Didi as well, Didi. Didi, okay. <laughs> so Anomasa is, is natural. But how do you take care of the wig? Because if you don't, you know, it makes you look good. It makes you look beautiful. But they say the woman's uh, crowning the glory is the woman's crowning glory. Mm -hmm. It does really add uh, some character and some presence to you as a woman, but how do you take care of it? I think it's because, also, you know, if you how don't, do you take care of your, your wig? wig? Your, your wig, wig person. By, by, um, maybe I'm not doing it right. We have a wig expert who will tell us. Okay. Uh, by the time I wear it a couple of times, maybe like four times, if, it's not, if I'm not exposed to sweat, mm -hmm. you know, I, I wash it after four or five wears. But when I come back, really, what I do, I take off my wig, I turn it upside, you know, inside, inside out, out, so that, it, you know, the air, you know, it can breathe. Okay. You know, so that the, 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 the sweat that it has, it has trapped will be dry. It's not, um, it's not trapped inside of the wig, which is what makes it smell Smells. anyway. But um, we have a wig expert. She is, uh, uh, she was on the program the last time and she brought so many wigs, and I think I bought a couple from her. Please welcome Noni Jones, our wig expert. <laughs> Hello, Noni. Always looking to much to Please have a seat. Hi, Noni. Hello. You are not wearing a I'm wig today. I'm yeah. stop with today, so. All right, so now you are letting your scarf breathe. For those of us who are addicted, you know, to wearing weaves and wigs. How no, often should we, you know, go natural or wear braids like you so that our scalp can breathe? Um, to be honest, I never ever, I love wearing my wigs. So this is just something I'm doing because I need a change as well. So as long as you take care of your hair underneath, it doesn't really matter. Because um, obviously with your wig, you have your hair cornrowed back anyway. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you're, you're, you're taking a break when you get home and you take your wig off. Yes. So it doesn't really, you know, it depends. It doesn't matter at all. Can you, can you wash, like Aisha said, she washes or she, um, do you wash Cleans. your wigs? Cleans. I, you know, she, she does you, it. I wash okay. it. Okay, <laughs> she does <laughs> wash them. Yeah. So would you, because for some ladies, mm -hmm. you know, to have to go to the salon, mm -hmm. especially we're talking about, you know, the economic times mm -hmm. here. Can they wash it at home? Yes, definitely. Okay. How? It's really straightforward. A lot of people don't know how to take care of human hair, virgin hair. You have to remember the hair is not going out of your scalp anymore. So it's really important. The products you use are very affordable. Um, a shampoo, um, you, what you need to do is put it in water, a bucket of water, and literally immerse your wig into the, um, the bucket and wash in a downward motion. Don't scrunch the hair up or anything. And okay. the same with conditioning. It's pretty straightforward and let it air dry. Don't put it under the sun. Don't put it on the hair dryer. Just leave it to air dry overnight and it's fine. Okay. Uh, can yeah. I ask what happens if you don't let it air dry? It tends to smell because if it doesn't dry properly and not only that, the hair tends to tangle because you know, the heat is not really good for the virgin hair. As I said, it's not growing out of your hair anymore. So it's better to let it you know, dry naturally. Okay, so if you, if you put a wig in a bucket of water, mm -hmm. it has to be with submerged in it. With exactly, it completely. completely in the water. Yes. You don't swish it. You swish it you and then you, you, can't, you wash it. Don't wash it like you're washing a dress or anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> Just, you know, it's very straightforward. Simple downward motion. I'm like, trying to describe it to you. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's not, it's, it's not um, 
it, it's not going to be really dirty anyway. It's just to get the whole hair. It might be. So <laughs> might be. Oh, <laughs> might be. Yeah, that's why you <laughs> wash your hair very often. I mean, <laughs> you have to wash your, your wigs very often, though. I tend to wash mine every week if I wear it every exactly. day. Well, that's because you're around this area. Exactly. You know, and the heat really as humid. well. That's, that's, that was the next question that mm. I want to ask you. Yeah. So, so after how many, after how many wears mm -hmm. should you wash the wig or should you clean the wig? Every, um, if you're wearing your wig every single day, I would suggest weekly. Weekly? Weekly, yeah. So that like is a weekend. Let's just, say, let's just say you have a, you just have a, a um, your weekend could just, a Friday night, for example, could be like, oh, I'm going to wash my wig day. You know, something like that. It's, mm. it's, yeah. well, what do you think about, because I remember, that, I mean, I, I actually do wear wigs too. It's just yeah. now because my locks are a bit longer. And lovely as well. They, <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> You know, it's it's a really tight fit. Mm -hmm. But I remember then I had this one wig, and like we were younger, and then like my friends would call, "Hey, what about your wig now?" <laughs> you know, yeah. so we had like four of us, you know, and I would be like, "Ah, Silo, you have my wig." You say, "No, I gave it to Aisha last time." So you understand. So is it advisable to, to share? share? Yeah. I don't really, I mean, with my, with my girls, I will, I'm not going to lie, I do share with my friends, you know, okay. you, you know your friend, you know your friend's hygiene, it's not a big deal, but I wouldn't say passing it around to every, you know, everyone who asks no, you for your wig, uh, but if you know, if you're close to a person, why not? I don't okay. see it as a problem. Okay, but so a lot of people are going natural now, mm. you know, I must say, I don't mean you're kind of natural, <laughs> natural, my kind, not, local, you kind. know, natural, that low cuts mm -hmm. and, you know, natural as in natural, mm -hmm. those who go for the natural look, mm -hmm. We also have some, some of them who don't take care of the, they don't know when to wash it mm -hmm. or how often to wash it mm -hmm. and it ends up swelling. Yes. How do you take care of the natural hair? Now? With natural hair, because my hair is natural as well. With natural hair, um, because it, it's, it's really dry and it's very brittle, you don't have to wash it every single, every other week. What I suggest is instead of using a shampoo, use a, a conditioner, it's called co-washing. That's what okay. it's called. So that way it keeps the moisture in and it still keeps the hair clean as well. I didn't get that. Instead of using the shampoo... You use, you use conditioner. Just the conditioner. It's called co-washing, because that way... Because, you know, with natural hair, I mean, I'm sure you experience it, it's very dry, yes. high maintenance, yeah. you know, it's not soft. So it's like, if you use shampoo all the time, a detergent-based shampoo all the time, your hair will tend to dry out and break. The oils, OK. Exactly. So with natural hair, the best way to take care of it is to use um, a sulfate, non-sulfate product, and also, um, what's it called? Um, Conditioning. So, for example, if you wash, wash your natural hair every two weeks, um, make sure you use conditioner to wash your hair. But conditioner, you, that's yeah, what I was trying to get. Conditioner would condition you alternate. the hair, but it will not wash the hair. It does clean the hair. It doesn't clean it, 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 it does. It does. It, it does. I wouldn't imagine. It does. Uh, the, the detergent, detergent base. Yes. That's, the thing. that's why I said you alternate it. So maybe in week two, you use conditioner. The upper, the following um, couple of weeks, you use a shampoo. So you kind of alternate. Okay. I use a lot of dry shampoo. Mm -hmm. You know what dry shampoo is? I it does, it, and it's, it's a like mentally, a spray, yeah, it's yes. a spray or you have the one that's like a paste, you know, and it, it's a it shampoo, is, but it's dry. So you just rub it in, scalp. put but your you cap that over. Shampoo every time is not good. So maybe you would try the conditioner. Uh, okay, maybe. Yeah, try it. You, it <laughs> try it. You can I alternate, try the conditioner. definitely. Well, I'm just thinking, mm -hmm. you know, Aisha, like you were thinking. Aisha is worried too. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm, maybe I'm old school. You yeah. know, when you're washing it's something, wash you want to see foam. You're taking care of your natural hair as well. It doesn't need that much. You don't have to wash it all the time because it's going to dry. The hair will eventually dry out and break. It's as, you're just saying this so to the man that has to wake up every day, yes. go from one end of town to mm -hmm. the island, mm -hmm. take a bus or kada, keke. Mm -hmm. You understand? You're in your AC all day, yeah. not attracting dust, mm -hmm. not attracting grit. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, you know, your scalp is itchy. Mm -hmm. You will even see like yes. brown, yes. you know, so residue underneath your I don't nails. think a conditioner would, would suffice. Mm -hmm. It's sod. But uh, that's for, that, that's yeah, for, the, for the wig. We, we, want, we want to say foam when you're washing something. But for those who are wearing braids, mm -hmm. like yours now, mm -hmm. you know, you tend to wear braids for a long time. Mm -hmm. How do you clean it? How often do you clean it? How mm -hmm. do you wash it? I mean, I don't, I don't wash my braids. I clean my scalp. Mm -hmm. That's what okay. I use. Sometimes I take, like, spirits on a cotton wool and just yes. make sure my, my scalp is clean, and that's about it. I mean, with braids, I wouldn't carry braids for more than a month anyway. I don't think most people... A month is a long time. It is. Oh, <laughs> so in that, yeah. in that period, you don't wash it? So no, I don't wash it. So what happens when my scalp you know, like is clean? like this braid now that's like, coming down on your yeah. body. 
there's a kind of um, there's kind of hot that weather you would have gone through. Mm -hmm. I would. I, I know about brain spray. Yeah, but you well, know yeah, we talked also about well. spraying really something on something that has a, an odor already. Mm -hmm. Okay. You understand? So when you, you can mm. smell your hair sometimes. Yeah. So you can imagine spraying something on your smelly hair, mm. which we do anyway. We put mm -hmm. perfume. Don't you put perfume on your hair? Yeah. I walk through it. No, you, you know you spray. I do. No, you walk, you, I, I spray it my, in the air. I do on my weave on. I do sometimes as well. See, you go with the time. So, um, while we are still talking about the wig, mm -hmm. you know, now remember, audience and you know, those watching us at home, mm -hmm. we are talking personal hygiene. We've talked about uh, how to take care of your personal area, your armpits, you know, for those who uh, have a little uh, body mass you know, the crevices, and also how to maintain and take care of your VJJ, you know, when you are in your cycle, <laughs> how to, she you know, up. how to, how to keep it clean and dry and, you know, not uh, mess it around. Uh, now we are going to talk <laughs> about, you know, you know, another thing uh, that women uh, cannot do without, uh, it's the, is the bra, you know, the bra also is very, very important, is an important accessory in the woman's total it's a necessity. Outlook. You know, it's a necessity. The other time we talked about uh, wearing the right, right bra size. The, the right mm. bra size. Uh, you can see, you know, since then yeah, I've been yeah. wearing the, you can see that. What I'm are you looking at, Aisha? <laughs> What's Aisha looking at? You must make sure you're wearing the right bra. You must make sure you're wearing the right bra. You are wearing the correct one. Bra. And, uh, or my sign is, is as I? well. Okay. You know, but aside from wearing the, the correct one, we also need to know how to care for it. So um, we have a guest. We call her as a bra expert, and Ukadike will tell us how to. Hello, Anne. Hi. Hi. How are you? Thank you look so beautiful. Thank you. Have a seat. Wow. I look at lovely. Look at lovely. lovely. Yes. Nani and Anne. I'm, 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 I'm stunned by how well put together you two Thank are. You. Thank You're you. You're looking really nice. So, Anne, you heard us backstage talking about bra. Yeah. You know, I, I can see none is wearing the right size of bra. Yeah. You are, uh, Silo is, or Masan is, I am. Uh, but how do we care for our bra? How many wears before we, we, we wash? You know, how do we care for it? Okay, because it's a very hot country we're in, you tend to sweat a lot. So, um, typical country like England, where it's colder, you can wear your bra like four to five times. But in Nigeria, you'd have to wear it once or twice. And the mistake we all make is we all have a favorite bra. I know everyone does. Yes. <laughs> so we, t we tend to wear that favorite bra all the time because it's comfortable, it fits really well around the bust. If you have that favorite bra, get like five or six of them. So at least you can interchange. Mm -hmm. But you won't know its well, favorite can't. as at the point you're buying it. So when you buy it, it, it grows when you buy it, into I, being yeah. your favorite yeah. bra. When you buy it and buy it and you wear it, okay. after a couple of weeks, you know it's your favorite bra. Okay. Uh -huh. Go ahead and get one or two or you three more. You can't have more than one favorite bra. <laughs> <laughs> but then, I mean, that's the thing. So um, and if, we, if we don't wash our bra often, then we, we, we have a problem with that because, as I said before, it's a hot country. You want to be able to wash your bra at least twice a week, mm -hmm. you know, and then also change your bra at least twice a week. We should, as women, we, we have to get used to doing that because you don't want to have a certain kind of smell. And there's a certain kind of smell the bra gives mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. You said you know the smell. I, I, know, I, I told them, <laughs> I don't know. We were talking about it, it some days ago, and I told them, I know the dirty bra yes. smell. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah, and then, but for me, it. I'm yeah. very lucky. You know what happens to me? Once I wear a bra twice, I react. Mm. Okay. Mm. So, so I'm lucky. So you have to wash it. So I have yeah. to. Yeah. Okay. You know, I don't want to. The, the thing is, we have so many kinds and types of bras. You have the padded one. You yes. have the one that lifts you, yes. and then you have the wired one. Mm -hmm. So which one uh, of all the, the bras is most, you know, susceptible to trapping uh, uh, heat? I mean, uh, oh, the sweat. Yes. And then and 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 and, and dust. That's, and, and Udo. that's so, perfect. You mentioned that. This is a padded bra, and this is what I have to always wear, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> but this is a padded bra, and obviously it has a foam in it, and obviously when you sweat, 
it goes right into the foam. So this is the mm -hmm. most, this is the main kind of most kind of bras that you would have issues with um, in regards to the smell. So washing. this kind of bra, you'd have to wash it twice a week. Okay, can, can I feel it? Yes, of course. Thank you. So the, the padded bra, yes. this is the inside of it. it yes. So it, 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 it lifts you it and gives you more, you know, more, more body yeah. Yeah. and creates an illusion yes. of uh, <laughs> a full of bosom. Of a full of bosom. bosom. <laughs> <laughs> so, so because it's padded, yeah. uh, if you sweat, you know, they sweat, uh, sweat would, would drip. I shall have this way. Ah, no, no, I'm talking. Oh, okay. I'm okay. showing about okay. Okay. Well, them. No, no, I know what I'm doing. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. So, because I'm talking about the inside of the bra, okay. where you add the sweat, yes. the trapped in, because of the pad that is in it, the yes. foam that is in it. Yes. So, this one should be worn how many times before you wash it? Twice. 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 So, you, ladies, you're watching. At home, the padded bra, it's, it's, it feels so good. <laughs> <laughs> and can, I, can I also mention that a lot of people make that mistake. They wash their bras in a washing machine. That's what I wanted to ask. Washing yes. machine? You always have to soak it in and actually leave for a couple of minutes and then use your hands to wash it because then the foam um, tends to readjust exactly. when you wash the, in, the washing in the washing machine. machine. Yes. And also the um, wire around right. it tends to come out from the side very because yes so that's very something? important a lot of people don't know that are you listening ladies in the audience this woman okay. is this 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 I see some are not so. No. Yes, yeah, this, so one, yeah, this, this one is meant to Ooh, give the double padded illusion. Yes. So it makes you go we don't, two big sizes. But Masa will never I don't need them. No, I don't. You don't need them. You don't need them. But I do the underwire. Okay, the yes, that yes. really actually yes. helps to support the breast. Yeah, as yes, well. and, and there was a time. And because, and you know, bras are not cheap either. Yes. Good bras. And I noticed, even though I hand washed, they, they now get bent, you know, maybe I'm doing this. You're doing it so too hard, yeah. Tell me if I'm right. A lady who's a bra expert like you said, all I have to do is soak it, like yes. you just said. For Take this part, part and, yeah, use that part and use it to, to scrub the onion. To yeah, scrub I mean, that, there. I mean, once you soak it, yeah, you can do that as well, but it, okay. it's by soaking much. it for a couple of minutes, maybe like 10 to 20 minutes, mm -hmm. it actually, um, it, you actually, it's easier for you to wash it. And by not wearing it more than twice, too. Exactly. Well, that, so I just get used to, to say, that. Your favorite bra needs more than a 10 okay. So why <laughs> washing, really? <laughs> <laughs> why washing? Do you do you wash it? You know, yes, like of course wash, you have to. Like you wash. Can you have to because it's the foam. Can you Sorry. swash this one? <laughs> it looks almost impossible to swash. Yeah, I know. Yeah, of course you can. So you go like this. And you go in oh, right. into the bra, okay. yeah. So then right. it just goes because you need to get right into mm, the bra. Yes, right. See what I mean? So by doing that, you actually get all the sweat, mm. all the because mm. you, you will smell it when you yeah. press it. And it won't lose shape. shape. You know no, it wouldn't. It wants you, you use your hands. People don't really wash the, you know, where you were washing now. Yeah, the middle part. Is there um, any medical whatever about the dirt from your bra infecting mm. your breast? Like cancer? And, and you know that can cause cancer, I think. Mm -hmm. I wanted you to I would think it would cause, yes, because if you're not washing it, and it's, you know, it's, it's, it, there's a heat in this country. Yes. So once you wear a padded bra like this, you're bound to sweat all the time. So you can imagine you continuously wearing it for the next one month. I know Pretty a friend of mine uh, that did bra. No, black bra. Oh. Um, black yeah, a black bra. Yeah, black I know bra. a friend of mine black that she loves this bra really so dead. much. Yeah. She's Just worn it knows. about, she's worn it six months straight. Black bra. Really? Yes. Oh, wow. And I said to her, are you kidding me? But she was in England, so that's a lot better. because It's I mean, not better. It's not better. It's not better. It's not better. But it's just that the smell was controlled. Yes, then here. And I was quite, I was in shock. And she would be so upset that I mentioned this. Oh, no. That gets your friendship. I didn't get that. This personal idea, I didn't talk for ladies. We can go on and on and on and on. Because this bra, I mean, I didn't so, so, so. know that you could, the method she showed to us now of how to hold it. And, Squeeze it. You know, I would just, you know, uh, the two, I will hold it together and uh -huh. go like yeah. 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 So, <laughs> Yes. But now I know that it's one and then this is what you do. And, it, you know, it looks so it easy looks and easy. it will clean better. And can I also mention, you have to us. always wash the that's side right. mm, of the bra as well, because that's where you sweat as well mm. from your armpits and all your deodorants would yes. obviously stick to that part okay. as well. So yes, 
right. And you use a brush. It's great. If you use a brush, you can also use a brush as well. Yeah. Like a finger brush. Yes. Nail Thank brush. you so much. We awesome. have to go now. It's been interesting talking with um, Noni Jones and Anne Ukadike. Noni Jones, our wig expert, and of course, um, Anne Ukadike, our bra expert. And uh, I'm sure the audience enjoyed all of the talk about personal yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, audience. Of course, as usual and always on Massa and Silo. Thank you for being part of it. We'll see you again next time on Amazon. Have a very good evening. Bye-bye.